Hi, welcome to another episode of Tim's Butterfly Vlog. It's cold here in Chicago, so I thought, well, what's a good thing to do today? Oh, let's have a butterfly vlog. So spring is just around the corner, less than a month away, and we should get thinking about butterflies and butterfly gardening, right? I think so. So before we get into um, the butterfly we're going to talk about today, uh, I thought I'd share some information with you about some uh, reading materials and an organization I think that's really good. Uh, prep you for spring and butterfly gardening for summer. Uh, let's see. So the first name organization is the North American Butterfly Association. Um, you can learn more information on them online at naba.org. Uh, once you go on there, uh, you'll see on the left side of the website, there's all kinds of links, different kinds of links about gardening. Uh, there's chapters you can join. There's resources, publications, and so forth. Um, it's a really good organization, I think, to join. Uh, if you become a member, you get some... Uh, uh, publications in the mail. Uh, let's see, I'll show you a couple here. Hang on. So one of the magazines you get through them is called the American Butterflies. Um, this comes out a couple times a year. Uh, it's a good day magazine. You really good information in there. They have a lot of topics about specific butterflies. So you get this on the mail a couple times a year. Uh, another one you get with them is the Butterfly Gardener. Um, this comes out a couple times a year as well. Uh, good information. Uh, as you get that as part of your membership through the North American Butterfly Association. Gardening for Butterflies. Um, I really like this book. It's a pretty thick book. You can see uh, it's a paperback. I picked it up at the uh, Morton Arboretum and uh, inside the... Uh, the main building, um, and uh, it's a really good book. It has a lot of good information on it. Um, uh, talks about the varieties of plants and then what kind of plants the butterflies need and stuff. Good book. Monarchs and milkweed. Uh, don't remember where I picked this up, but this has got a really a lot of good information about monarchs and butterflies. Let's see, uh, close-up photography, nature. Uh, this is a pretty good book. Uh, it's got a whole chapter in it, a pretty thick book. Uh, it's dedicated to just, uh, photographing butterflies. So, if you're into photography like me and you like to photograph butterflies, good book. Ch ch check this book out. Uh, yeah, I like this book a lot. Uh, good information in it. It's always a good idea to have some field guides. Um, I have two field guides. Uh, one is a general one. Uh, um, and this has a lot of information about a lot of butterflies. And then I, and I have a specific one geared towards Illinois butterflies. I picked up at the Martin Arboretum too. So get some books before spring starts, okay? And learn more about butterflies that way. Okay, so if you pick up any of those books or um, any other ones you can check out, uh, there's a lot of them out there. Or if you join the NABA, um, you can uh, join them online. I think you can, uh, there's old publications online you can read until you pick up yours in the mail. So, good way to keep busy over uh, the rainy portion of winter and get ready for gardening. Uh, the butterfly we're going to talk to today um, is about uh, the swallow tail butterfly. Um, I, I actually had some swallow tails in my yard a couple of years ago. So I'm going to show you a couple of quick pictures here. So check, check out these swallow tails in my backyard.
Um, one of the swale tails is called uh, a zebra swale tail. Um, and it, uh, zebras, you guys know, have black and white stripes. Uh, you know, so swale tails have the same thing. Um, check this picture out. They're pretty cool looking. So actually, you can see uh, zebra swile tails uh, in in Illinois. Um, uh, I haven't seen any in the area around here, but I know uh, the far southern tip of Illinois. Uh, there's been sightings of zebra swile tails. So if you ever down southern Illinois, far tip on the southwest area, there's supposed to be um, swile tails down there are zebras. So I'm going to show you a little map here in a second of uh, where the zebra swallow tails are. Uh, pretty much the United States, if, uh, uh, well, it's pretty centered down in the southern area uh, in the United States. So uh, um, check out this map uh, right over here, okay? Check it out. So you can see um, above southern Illinois, you're not going to really see any swallow tails that are zebras. Um, they have had sightings, I guess, in Minnesota, and they've had some over the northeast area of Massachusetts. But they're pretty centered down below uh, southern Illinois and the uh, southern area of the United States. Still pretty cool to see something like that here. So zebra swile tails have um, unusually long tails. Uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, their uh, wingspans are about uh, two and a half inches to four inches across. Uh, the males, uh, they usually uh, fly around on the um, understory of the plants looking for females. Um, the females will be down there and uh, they lay single green um, eggs and they uh, have their uh, uh, caterpillars will um, show up down there in the other story in a lower level area and eat the plants on that down uh, area in the lower level area of the plant. Um, actually nine states in USA have swallow tail butterflies um, listed as their butterfly of as their stint. So the swallow tail has a, there's a couple of varieties in the U.S. The states have adopted. Um, a couple of states have Easter East swallow East tiger swallow tail as their state butterfly. Um, Arizona state butterfly is actually two tailed swallow tail. It's similar to the tiger swallow tail. Um, it has two tails on the end. Um, there's another state that has a black uh, swallow tail. is a, a state butterfly. And there's, there's another state uh, that has um, a black bush uh, swallow tail. as one of their state butterflies. I'm sorry, I meant spice bush swallow tail. Is the last one, um, not black bush. And that spice bush is a uh, Mississippi state butterfly. Pretty cool. I never seen one of those. If you head over uh, to New Jersey, uh, the black swallow tail is their state butterfly. So, uh, black swallow tail. Actually, I think Oklahoma's uh, state butterfly is a black swallow tail as well. So I'll round up nine states there to have swallow tails as their state butterfly. Pretty cool. Okay, so I think we're going to end this episode of uh, Tim's Butterfly Vlog. And Angel has joined me here for the end. Hey, Angel, what you doing up there? <laughs> Angel likes to be on camera, so he's here for the end of the video. 
So this has been uh, Tim's Butterfly Vlog, and we talked about Swallow Tales. Uh, until next time, bye.